Hello, my name is Marley. This lesson is to show you the difference between Office 2003 and Office 2010. If you are Office 2003 user and is transitioning to Office 2010, this lesson will help you to understand how Office 2010 interface works. All the features you have used in Office 2003, you will find and use in Office 2010. However, Office 2010 contains new features that allow users to create and format documents with greater ease and with more professional look. The major difference between Office 2003 and Office 2010 is the user interface. The menu bar in Office 2003 was replaced with Ribbon in Office 2010. Let's open Microsoft Word 2010 so you can see the interface. What is the Ribbon? The Ribbon groups tools by their function. The ribbon is broken into three different portions. The tabs, which are divided among the different tasks you can do in an application. We have the File tab, Home tab, Insert tab, Page Layout tab, Reference tab, Mailing tabs, Review tabs, and View tabs. The Groups. Within each tab, break the task into subtasks. Groups replace the menus used in Office 2003. At the Home tab, I have groups of the Clipboard group, Font group, Paragraph group, Styles group, Editing group. In the Insert, I have groups of pages, tables, illustrations, links, header and footer, text, symbols. In the page layout tab, I have groups of themes, page setup, page background, paragraph, and arrange. In the reference tabs, I have groups of content, table of contents, footnotes, citations and bibliography, captions, index, table of authorities. In the mailing tab, I have groups of create, start, mail merge, write insert files, preview results, finished. In the review tabs, I have groups of proof proving, language, comments, track, Changes, Compare, Protect, and OneNote. And in the View tab, I have groups of Document Views, Show, Zoom, Window, and Macros. And then, I have the buttons within each group carry out commands or display menus of subcommands. When I click Home, I can click in the font group, I have the buttons, I can click the bold, the bold, the italic, the underline, or in any of group, you can click any of the buttons, it depends the document you're working, so you can go and choose whatever you're doing. It's very easy, very practical. Now. Let's look a little bit more in depth. Here on the file, okay? The file tab, commands that act on the document itself, itself rather than the content of the document, such as new, new, document, open, save as, print, and close.
quick access bar is right up here okay and you can add some more if you want to it's a very easy way and quick way of find the buttons you needed more frequently in, in this case use the most is the save undo and redo these are the most that you use when you are writing a document and then we have contextual tabs when you inserting something like a table suppose if you are doing a table okay you see a red appears in here you can change your table as I can click in here you can see I've been changing I have several styles in here that I can I can choose or I can insert let's insert a click art in here let's see let's get the computer okay and as you see here I have the picture style as I, I click it you can see I change keep changing and I have much more to choose in the galleries select from an array of performance themes style effects shapes and templates that is as you see the styles that when I did the pictures when I did the, the table and then we have the life preview when you go to home and then you write you write something in this case I'm going to write my name and then I come and I highlight and then I change and then you can see very quickly change uh -huh. so the 2010 it's much easier to use than 2003 but I want to just show you that when you click you know this area here because you already this is the, the, the when you paste the clipboard when you paste you know that was in 2003 let's close this and then we have you know this this is, this is similar to 2003 okay and then we have the paragraph this is similar to 2003 the styles out here similar to 2003 so when you see there's a little arrow you can click and then you can work from here if you do not want to work from the buttons and you don't want to click the buttons and you want to open everything in one time you can do that too right so I hope with this a little lesson you understand and then you'll be able to now work in your in your documents more easily. Again, I'm going to inform you that Office 2010 is much fun and easy to use. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed.